all right children welcome back to another video of ielts learning i am ujwal your teacher and today we will look upon the chapter called kind hearted boy all right and if you want to know where it is and which book the book is workbook okay let me show you the picture of it this is the workbook guys and the chapter is from unit 2 that is on the page number 23 all right page number 23 all right so now let's see the slide show guys and learn from it so as you know the name of the chapter is the kind hearted boy all right the kind hearted boy let's roll there was a village and in that village heavy rainfall came all right rainfall was so much that the rivers even the small small rivers children they flooded like anything okay and the small river children this is a new word and difficult for us which we will learn today in our homework also that is brook b r o o K. Okay. What is it? Brook. B R O O K. Which means children, small river. All right. Or we can say a river or a stream. Okay. So all the streams, all the rivers of that village was flooded, or you know, it was flowing out to the brim. They were full up to the brim with water but what happened to them the people of that village were so happy because they got the water okay from the rain they can do so many things and they were doing parties and they were offering uh their offerings to their deities all right deities means gods okay different gods because someone has asked me in the online class what is the meaning of deities sir that is gods all right so let's move on what happened uh, let me show you from the slide show let's see all right so as we can see here in this picture there is small ant okay which is engrossed means that ant is very much what very much sad okay why because in their house the water was filled up to the brim brim means up to the top okay top of the glass top of the anything the water was filled then they were sad because water was in their house all around their house only one thing was there that was water and now what happened with that let's see from the next slide All right. So this kind of uh, children, the uh, the ants are having their house, which is called ant hill. All right. So you can see if you can see it's a, a picture of ant hill. It is a pile of uh, sand in which ants live. Okay. In this and this also we have sand in which ant dug the hole in the ground and live. And this is a picture of us. And how from inside here we have a queen ant, okay, which is uh, uh, commanding to soldier ants and everyone else, uh, worker ants, and they are collecting food here, 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 and all like that, okay. But because of the water, children, the water was all around their house here, here, in every room of their house, water was filled. Let's see what happened next. All right, children. As this picture depicts, this man is going down in the sea. Okay, he is about to sink, about to die. And this person had only the hand is able to, you know, we can see. And it is the the person is down. So drawn. So because of the water, children, the ants were drawn. Okay, they were about to die. All right. So they were they were so much in trouble. Okay, let's move on.
Yes. So what happened is that children, the bank of the brook. What is the bank of the brook, sir? The banks of the brook are the corner of the river or the streams. So the ant's house was where? At the corner or at the you know side of the brook or river or stream. All right. That's why water was able to come inside their houses. Okay. Let's move on. All right. So children, here we have the kind-hearted boy called Ramu. Okay. This boy is a game changer, children. He did what? He helped these ants. Okay, to get rid of the flood. Okay, and let's see what is written over here. Ramu helped the ants not because he pet them. What it means? It means the ants which he, you know, helped, they were not his pet animal or pet insect. Why? Because his heart was kind for everyone, children, not just for his known people or relatives or his friends. Alright? Let's move on. What he did? Let's see. So, as he was watching the ants, okay, the ants were looking for a new home. Why? Because in their present home, the water was there. Alright? That's why they were looking for a new home, a new house, brand new house. Alright, so let's see, next slide. So what the kind-hearted boy do? He made a bridge, children, so that the ants can cross the river, can cross the brook, can cross the stream. How he made the, the, this bridge? Leaf string or leaf string. He made the bridge from the small, small leaves and he pinned up together and he made a bridge as you can see this bridge children this leaf bridge like that he made so here comes a new word for us or a difficult word for us or rope all right or a wire kind of thing so that is it means strain all right so that is the second word for your homework which we need to learn with the synonyms. What are the synonyms of strain? That is string and rope. Alright, let's move on. Alright children, as we can see in this picture, help little ones. We are coming to the end of this uh, lesson. That is helping others. As you can see in this picture, this boy is actually handicapped. Okay, his leg is not working and the other man is helping him to walk across the that side. Alright, and here in this picture also a woman is helping or giving something to a poor or a sick lady. Okay, that is also a work or act of helping others. And here also this man is helping a small boy to climb the mountain. And here also this lady is giving something to the homeless man. Alright? So children, we must help people who are in need. Not okay? We must help them who are in really in need. Not because to have fame or gain something from them but just to help them children. Alright? Let's move on to the next slide. So the Rahu was able to make a bridge the green bridge of leaves, as you can see in this picture, bridge across the river so that the ants were able to cross that river. Alright. Now what happened next, children? The next thing, the ants were happy. Now they were not sad anymore. Why? Because they have crossed that river by the help of the kind-hearted boy to the bridge. Alright? And the ants, you can see in the picture, they are happy now. Alright? 
they are dancing, they are smiling, they are enjoying, they are dancing, they are happy. Alright, let's move on. Alright, so we children also, we must help the others, not the people who are we in contact or we know them. But as you can see in this picture, this old man is giving food to the pigeons. Alright, and this boy is also taking help of another person. So be kind to all. That is our moral of the story. Be kind to all. Alright. So, now children, this is very important. The moral lesson we can learn from this. That is, remember students how the sun is giving light to good people and bad people. We must also learn from this that we should love our enemies by forgiving them. And if they are hungry, give them food. And if they are thirsty, give them water. Do not just help your brothers or sisters and just relatives. Everyone help their relatives, brothers and sisters. But you need to be unique. Alright? So children, there is a joy and greatness to be a unique person. Alright? Everybody can copy anyone. Okay? But when you copy others, you are not the person uh, who are unique, who are different. Okay? So we should not copy others. What others do? They have their family members. They have their friends. But they do not have their enemies. Why? Because... They cannot do so. But you children, you can do so. How? By helping your enemies when they are in trouble. And this is a big secret children. To make your enemies your friends. You know, you can make your enemies your friends also. Alright? Nobody in this entire world children can do this. But you can do this by just one simple thing. That is... Be kind to them. Help them if they are seriously in need. Alright? Let's end this class with one short example. Now we are having rain uh, several times. So children, rain is also not partial. Okay? The rain is coming to the bad person and also to the good person. Alright? It is not partial. Likewise, we need to learn that we should help others to the good people and to the bats uh, have the another example of rain children let's see what we have here actually about the rain see the rain water is poured to everyone it is not just for good people and not for bad people but it is given by God to both good and bad person so learn from this act of God to help others no matter if you know them or not alright so what we can see over here in this uh, lesson or the teaching we can get that is see the rain children it is coming on both to the good people and to the bad people all right it is not doing any partiality all right so what we have to do what we can learn the moral of the story is also be kind to all all right so the example i have given you about the Sun, which is giving light to each and every one of us, and also the rain, which is giving the water to each and every one of us. All right, so you better learn from them and help everyone, not just your relatives, friends, brothers, or sisters, but also to the person whom you do not know, and especially. To your enemies if you think you are having enemies and by helping them you can change them into your friends all right so that is the joy children to be a unique person okay everyone hate their enemy but if you love your enemies and help them they will become your friends all right so be kind to all let's move on to the Last slide, I guess. 
All right. So the moral of the story is children, be kind to all. Okay. So we not, need not to just kind to our uh, relatives or the people whom we know, but to each and every one. Okay. And we also should not be partial. We also should not seek our gain to become kind. For example, so many people are come kind to so many people, but they want popularity, fame, or so that the other people can know them, okay, because of their kind words or their works or their charity works. But we need to be kind, not because we will be recognized in the society or we will have fame or popularity but because just to help them okay if you do like this you will be a kind-hearted person like in the story the boy was kind-hearted to the ants and he helped the ants to move on from one place to another safe place all right i hope children you are learning it well and you will practice this in your day-to-day -day life just a quick uh, recollection of the homework the homework children is like that you need to write one work of yours of kindness which you have done okay the work which you have done uh, of helping others okay uh, one two three lines you can write it on that and the second question is that children uh, the two words I have taught you that is first one is broke B R O B R double O K okay which uh, the synonym of that broke is river and stream all right and the second word is strained S T R A N D strained what are the synonyms of this word rope R O P E and the second synonym is wire or string all right spelling of string s t r i n g all right this is your second question uh, i think i will be also uh, texting you in the group in the whatsapp group so that you can have no any doubt regarding homework and the last question children which is about the moral of the story you need to write the moral of the story which will surely come in exams that is be kind to all all right now this is the end of the lesson children i hope you are understanding well at your homes be safe and sound study well wish you a happy learning ahead bye bye